Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT Bozies, and in an earlier video, I talked about pages, sub pages, hiding from navigation, buttons, all sorts of stuff. And quite honestly, I just didn't really think it did it justice. So let's really spell out what the heck was going on there. Uh, I have pages here. And you'll notice in underneath each page are sub pages. That's, that's great. Uh, and they show up when I hover over the different page, right? Sub page two, one, da, 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 so on and so forth. Well, the problem is sometimes your audience doesn't know that's hiding up there. If they don't see the little carrot, uh, I learned that's what that's called. Uh, carrot spelled that way, not like the food. Um, but they may not know that's there. So what can I do in place of this? Well, what I can do is I can go over to uh, my insert. So here I'm on page two. Let's, let's fix page two. Uh, here I am. And in the insert side, uh, I'm going to go down and I'm going to select a button and I'm going to put a button in here and I'm going to call it, uh, we'll just do it this way. Sub page two dash one. And it's going to link, you'll notice it brings up all the different things here, right? So I'm going to link it to the same thing thing, right? And, and this may seem redundant, but I think it's going to make sense in just a second. Then I'm going to add another button. I'm going to call it sub page two dash two, and you got it. I'm going to link it to two dash two, and we'll do one more for page three, sub page two, three, and sub page two, three. Great. And now if I want, I can, I can move these buttons. I can make them bigger. I can, you know, whatever. Uh, but here comes step two of this process. I'm going to go over to my pages. I'm going to head down to page two where I'm at, and I'm going to click on the uh, three vertical dots here next to the sub page, the nerd freckles. And I'm going to say hide from navigation. Gone. See how it puts a little cross through it. Yeah. I'm going to do that for all of these hide from navigation hide from navigation. And now you'll notice the little carrot disappeared. And when I hover over it, the sub pages don't appear anymore as opposed to page one where they do. So now the whole idea here is this just offers a little bit clearer sense to your user that that information is there, right? Because it's clearly on the page when I go there. So, um, for example, let me pull up, uh, well, no, I'm not going to pull it up, but if I, if I had a page on Google resources, for example, I might have a button to each of the sub things like Google drive, Google docs, Google slides. Yep. My web page. Um, because that list up here can get really, really long and hard to manage. So that's, what's going on with using buttons and hiding pages from navigation. Like I did here on page two versus having those pages visible in navigation and using a drop down menu. I hope that helps to clear that up and show you how to set it up. As always, if you have any questions, you can drop me a line at rbray at btboses.org. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and you are more than welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.